Hi. Hi, it's about time. <laughs> yeah. I got to talk to Howard before I leave. Me. Yes, you're on the air. Okay. I want to talk to him about OJ. I know who killed him. Mark Furman. I, OJ's I could... dead? I... Mark Furman killed OJ? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, I'm sorry. I got, you know. God, I've been on this damn phone for six, you know. Give me a break. See, that would okay. be great if Mark Furman would kill OJ. Then we'd be done with the damn trial. Then Mark... <laughs> he go to jail. Sorry, sorry. Give me a break. The blacks would be happy. The whites would be happy. Everyone would be happy. I know, I know. I mean, I mean, Mark Furman did the murders, not OJ. I thought so. I, need... I can, t- I can. And you have point. proof. I can, I can, everything, you know, I can give you. Wait a second, ma'am. Can you be available to fly to California to testify? Yeah. I'm being serious. Are you the surprise witness that no, no, no. the has been talking about? If you just listen to Yeah, she's a psychic. <laughs> she works yeah. for Kenny Kingston's psychic hotline. I just got a funny, I just got, you know. I, and I, OJ wants to beat her. You got a premonition. <laughs> I, yeah, very strong, very strong. Right, no worries, come on, what do you, what, all right, what do you know? All right, when you take all the evidence, I can give you a reasonable doubt. All right. I can put the re- uh Mark Furman was interested in Nicole, and she was about Yes, that okay. is true. That is very true. Where do uh, you know that from? Oh, everyone knows oh, that. Early. Uh, wait, I like Let's last entertain year. her. You know, there's something about it. Okay. You know, I just, I don't watch it. I have not found Lower it. your radio, please. Oh, so, yes, I forgot. Yes, sorry, please. Sorry. If, you know, if you do have information, then we have, it's up to us to get it to <laughs> Johnny, Mr. Johnny Cochran. Hey, I called him. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, but I, nobody answered the phone. Yeah. I mean, that's how strong it is. Now, Liz, you know, so now, now. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have Dion Warwick's autograph, do you? No. <laughs> All right. Just now. curious. Okay. So, so we know that. This is like so every imbecile on the, uh, this is the imbeciles on the jury. She you might know, as well be on. Not like, you know. Nobody not wants to pay attention to the facts. You know, he's very prejudiced. All right. Now, she's dumped him. Now, the dog, the dog thing, that's no barking <laughs> and anything. There was no noise. Yeah. This oh, is called what if Hillbilly it Detective. Was. I mean, like, if it was OJ that came up. And, and, you know, there'd be some kind of noise. She'd ticked off at him. All right, let me get this straight. So far, what you're implying is Mark Furman was dating Nicole? No, no, no. She was inter- he was interested in him. All right, and then when he couldn't get but anywhere. He, yeah, uh, she, didn't, she didn't go for it. She, like, you know. Right. You know, so he's like, okay, so that's, put that to one side. Now, um, if anybody... Where are you from, by the way? Where am I from? Brooklyn. <laughs> You're from Brooklyn? Uh-huh. Yeah, but you were from the Deep South immediately, uh, originally. Arkansas. Arkansas, yeah. Arkansas. Okay. You know, and and I'm, I'm moving in two weeks, so, I'm, you know, some people have been dying for me to talk to you. No, no, I, I, you know what? As wacky as this sounds, I'm sort of buying into what you're saying here. I'm not. I'm not oh, totally wait, discounting. Here, I got finish it. At the last. All right. Well, give me. Just give it to me. You know, briefly because it is a radio show. Go okay. Ahead. Okay. Okay. Well, you talk enough. It's my turn. Hey. All right. That's yeah, true. Yeah, we got competition. You and me. All right. Go so, ahead. Okay. So, like, if if anybody came up to them, there what would a... be some kind of a noise, some kind of a scuffle. Enough. But if Mark Furman was walking, who would be afraid of a cop? A dog. If Mark Furman can take out first Ron Goldman. <laughs> At least wound him. At least put him down. What do you want to do about her? have gone for Nicole. Bam. And then finish off Goldman. But he did now, it with a knife. He, he had, didn't shoot. Don't he argue with her. He was supposed to be somewhere <laughs> and shouldn't have taken him an hour and a half to get to the crime scene. Where was he? Hey, Billy, you want to get on the other line? Okay. I got an idea. Now, <laughs> you get on the other line he and you pretend to be Johnny Cochran. at OJ's and was inside of OJ's house. Follow this? For a while. Before he left. You can talk. She can't hear. She's a, she's a moron. Let's talk. And then, yeah. you know. We already know that. You go and you be Johnny Cochran also, and okay. say that you want to fly her immediately to Los Angeles. Two people. He's covered. He's got, you know, blood, and he's only got four drops in his car. Don't you, you know? think that'd be good? Okay. Now. Yes, absolutely. Plus, he's going to go I'm still listening away to her. to Chicago, and there's blood. Can you get over there? The go over there and let Gary he hook you up. He turn around oh. and look to see if he forgot anything in his room. Yeah. Okay. Now, also... You know, it's not like, this is kind of weird. The, that glove, that leather glove that supposedly doesn't fit, and they say that it was shrunk in moisture. What a I dope. Horses. Yeah, you can and they all sit home and they do all this. Yeah, they have these theories but going through their heads. They have no proof, no evidence. They're, they're, they're just nut jobs. There's little bits and pieces they pull right that have nothing to do Anybody with Anybody can buy those anywhere. Hold on, I got Johnny okay. Cochran. Let now, me break it to what, her. Was, what kind of car? Was Mark Furman driving? Who knows? Before, uh, oh, yeah, what about the car? See, you're making some good points. Hey, what, what, on our line is a guy who claims to be Johnny Cochran. You want to speak to him? No, uh, I'm just... He might want you to testify. You're going to have to. Okay, that's fine. I don't care, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, let me just see what he has you to say. You don't want to talk to... He's this, a defense attorney. The person... Now. Hello? Ma'am? Yeah. Hi. Is miss, this, miss, miss. Is this uh, Mr. Johnny Cochran? Why, why have we never heard from you before? 
I can't, I don't know, because he doesn't pick up the phone. Why have we never heard from you? Why has our office never heard from you before? You sound like a very intelligent woman. You got a lot of theories. You got, you know, a lot of. Hey, this is. Hey, this is the real Johnny Cochran. Hey, Mr. Cochran. Yes, this sir. woman claims to have uh, a theory that sounds pretty plausible. I was listening. This is a very plausible theory. I think we, we, we haven't heard from her before. Well, and you are the person we'd like to grandstand with at the very end of this trial. That stabbed, that stabbed the two people has got to be covered in blood. You slit somebody's throat, that blood, you know, that, that carotid artery right there is certain. That's right. That's the carotid artery theory. Check his car. <laughs> That's right. I would check that. Mark Furman, what car he was driving at the time of the murder. This is what I would like to bring forth. This is what I would like to be, make Judge Ito understand. See if he's still driving that car. I, I don't need to. That car. This is an interesting theory. I'd like hey, to in all seriousness, Mr. Cochran, if, he's if still I. still driving that car. Ma'am, if I give you Mr. Cochran. Get rid of it. If I give you Mr. Cochran's number, will you return his call so that he can get you on the witness stand? Sure. If would you, you be willing to testify? Not, I'm not joking around here. Would you I'm be willing? Not either. Would you be willing to because testify? If you test his inside of his car, even if he cleaned it out, if you test it with that thing that turns up blue, right. blood. Right. Yes. Just test it. Just, just look at the car. Have yes. you worked on any other cases? Yeah. What is your background, ma'am? I thought you don't mind me asking. You obviously you're involved in some sort of police work. No. Really? No, I'm just. I love. I, I like. You like court cases? No, I, I, I like. Yeah, you know, Sherlock Holmes, kind of like the, oh. uh, stuff like that. My, you know, she I, likes Sherlock Holmes. Oh, well, can I just say something? Well, you know, every once in a while, seriously, I mean, I've heard a lot of like weird theories and stuff, but this one makes total sense. I've just given you a reasonable doubt. You certainly have, Mr. Cochran. Yeah, sir. He, and, you know, O.J.'s getting the kangaroo case. I mean, that's right, exactly. That's what I've been trying to say all along. This is what Mr. Bailey has been trying to say. This is what, what everybody, every, or attorneys in this case have been trying to say. I mean, look at you. You're still on the air. you got a freedom of speech. Yeah. And the man is innocent until proven guilty. I would like exactly. to get your statement. I would like to get this woman's statement. All right, Mr. Cochran. I would like to get this woman's statement. You know, ma'am, you might be the whole key to getting O.J. out. You, the whole thing rests on your shoulders. Yeah, no, 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 seriously. Office because that's the first thing they're going to do. You know, I bet that Ramsey is mine. Oh, my God. I've got... Ma'am, you're losing credibility. Oh, Gito doesn't like dirty words, so Please. don't use that in your well, testimony. Well, he is, he is scared out of his way. Mr. Cochran, with, uh, I'm going to give her your um, New York office. I'm going to give her the 516 number with your permission. And I would appreciate that greatly. All I'll, right. I'll really like that. Ma'am, can you give a pen... Yeah, this is definitely for real. This is dead real. I mean, seriously, I never thought O.J. was... Uh, I always thought he was guilty. I'm going to tell you something. It's the first time in my life that I've actually changed my opinion. She, she's turned you around? You have. I gave you and I think in all fairness... That's, that's all a man, a man should have is a reasonable doubt. Look at that's the right. car. Just, just test it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But still... I don't think you're wrong. You are not wrong. Test this car. Put that whatever they call that thing that turns... If there's blood there... If, if the man was covered in blood, it had to be the person that killed them, two people, mm -hmm. the right. way they described. You know, I, I'm not even following. I don't watch it. And, and what you are describing is a vicious racist who might have been. Uh, uh, one, one, one other point. One other point. You had. Please, you had please go ahead. Normally, I wouldn't allow this much time, but go ahead. You had a forensic. You know, I, I caught it in the in the in the paper. You had a forensic guy on the stand yes. that said that there was tampering of evidence. Gurgis. Yes. You know, where did Mark Furman, you know, where did the wet blood come from the, on the paper? Where did the smear come from that they were testifying? These are the unanswered he questions. Had access to evidence. Well. He, and he admitted on the tape that he has tampered with evidence before. I'm going to tell you something. Can I? I, I would like Mr. To, Cochran, I'm going to say something. I need to ask this woman to testify. This let woman, me let me just say something. This is a woman, by the way, who has a lot of credibility with me because she's from the Deep South. They usually hate black people. My daddy was the Attorney General of Arkansas. Thank you. She speaks extremely well. She's very eloquent. And I would be proud to put her on as a final witness in my case. Wow. You you know. Know. You're going to be the most famous. General of Arkansas. You are going to be. You are going to be the most famous woman on the planet. I just wanted to know if she thought OJ was guilty before. No. Never did. Never, Never did. did. Never she did. knew it right away because she reads Sherlock Holmes and stuff. And some people who read that kind of stuff are very keyed into that. I have, they have I analytical mind. Feeling. I just had a funny feeling. Yeah, well, I think you're a funny feeling just freed Mr. O.J. Simpson. I think she's absolutely right. I don't think there's any relation between wife beating and murder. There is no connection there. That's never been proven. That's right. There's no connection. Exactly. All right, listen. If let me get. Her back, why would he kill her? Exactly. Ma'am. Why would he? There is, there's no logical conclusion. I, I, I am, uh, Mr. Cochran and ma'am, I am growing very uncomfortable with this because I feel that this 
whole conversation. I think you're wasting time. Should it's be, a man's uh, yeah. future. This is a guy who should be out this weekend playing golf. I need. You're not, you're not playing with me because you always. I am not playing with you at all. I am dead serious. And, and stuff like that. No, I am not. I am dead serious. I mean, you know, I've been trying to get a hold of somebody. Can, I need to get this woman. No, can I just say something? I think of because you're just as nuts. No, first of all, this is a very powerful radio show. If I can do some good every once in a right. while, I'm into it. That's my only motivation here. Number two, I was somebody who thought Mr. O.J. Simpson was guilty. You have turned me around. Johnny Cochran listens to the show. We've hooked you up with the proper authorities. I am dead serious I about this. I called Johnny Cochran's office. Nobody picked up. Mr. Cochran, she did call. She did not call. We got no messages. I, this is the first I'm hearing about this, and I am extremely interested in this, and I want to proceed. I want to move forward with this. We have a listing for Johnny Cochran's uh, law office. Let me give you the private number, please. Okay. Five one six. This is and this will and they'll call you back from Los Angeles. This is his New York office. Five yeah. Five one six nine two two. Nine two two. Nine four six three. Nine four six three. And please, when you get done with us, call that number. Okay, I'll call right now then. Yeah. Well, Mr. Cochran. Well, what, what should I call? When do we call? Uh, I need your statement. I really, really need your statement. You gotta be kidding. I need that statement. No, no, no. I he is not kidding at all. He's not kidding. This is a guy who's got to get OJ out of jail. I gotta get, I'm, you know how you just said, Howard, that you were gonna tr you were trying to do good? Yes. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to do good. You're it's just not trying a, to get to the truth. I'm trying to get to the truth, and the truth is good. Right. Well, listen. You just think that, you know, but who would be afraid of a cop walking towards them? Exactly. Exactly. You, yet, you, that's the key. That's the key right there. And nobody's thought of that up until now. We've all seen the kind of process Mark Furman's capable of. Well, one, question. one question. Robin has a question. She still doesn't. Mr. Sherlock Holmes? Yeah. Mark Furman was a plainclothes police officer. Nicole already knew him. Exactly. So what about Ron Goldman? Uh, Nicole knew him, you know. They, they knew him. They obviously. She's yeah, right. I know him. That's Mark Furman. He's right. Don't worry about it. Oh, so she calmed him down. Right. God. You're saying the two of them were standing there together, and he managed to kill two people. Now with do you believe? One of them standing there and not screaming? Yeah. Right. You now do you believe? Yeah, because Mark, Ron Goldman could have been going into shock depending on exactly. the first stab wound. Exactly. He and took him by surprise. Cold, she couldn't scream. Right. She had, you know, she's just, she's just sitting there in shock. Uh, oh. Some people don't is the explanation you never know everything. what you're going to do. Listen, you, you don't have to explain yourself any further. I buy it. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm sticking a gun in my ribs. And asking you're not kidding. He's stabbing you. He's not sticking a gun in your ribs. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, you don't, never know what you're going to do when the situation actually happens. Hey, listen, more importantly, Johnny Cochran buys it. Mr. Cochran. I absolutely buy it. Mr. Cochran, I, yes. this woman will call you as soon as we hang up from her. I really, I really, really wish you would. I, I would like to say, I, have one to call my office. I would like to say one thing to this woman. What? I want to first of all commend you. Not many people would be brave enough to. Can I ask one more question? Yes, in one second, please. I want to say something <laughs> to this woman. I want to commend you. I want to say something to you right now. And I'm being serious about it. I don't throw around compliments too often. Now you don't. Here's a woman who sat and thought about this. For months? For months. Tried to get in touch with the proper authorities. Couldn't. She had the tenacity, the balls to come forward. And this is not a case that's, a, you know, People listen. People laughed at me. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm going out on a limb. People who would laugh at you? This is ridiculous that they would laugh at you. We certainly will not laugh at you, madam. Can right. I ask one more question? Sure. Go ahead. Why didn't the dog bark? Good she question. Afraid. She wasn't afraid of him. She's she not him. afraid of Mark Furman either, even if she sees Mark Furman killing her master. The dog His master? Later. The dog barked later when the dog knew. Dogs can smell fear. Of dogs, course. dogs have been known to be paralyzed with fear, and they are unable to speak as soon as they are paralyzed with fear. <laughs> right. It well, they're unable to bark. It all depends, because it, it, the uh, dogs need different things. Yeah. If the and how do you know Mark Furman didn't even have a dog biscuit with him? Because <laughs> he knew the family. It was, uh, the dog did not see a situation of fear. Right. Because I had a dog, uh, you know, a little bitty French poodle. Yes. And my daddy came to check. We, we could only camp out in the backyard. And my daddy came to check on him. On my poor father. Because he was getting ready to leave for going out of town to take a deposition. And uh, <laughs> my daddy's six foot two. And he was just going to check on us. And he moved that tent flat back. And that dog was at I hate throat. the South. The dog sent a, you know, and... And so your dog that. made noise, yeah, right? She can't eat. I'm talking to you. But Don't argue with her anymore, please. Let me compliment her and get the hell out of here. I believe that the dog didn't sense oh. anything. Are you going to argue with her? <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. You've made a good point, and uh, let, let's not belittle uh, what you've said here today. This is probably the end of the O.J. Simpson case as we know it. Uh, you're brilliant. I, I applaud you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I applaud you. That's all. I don't throw a word there. I have impressed Howard Stern. I don't know. Oh, you yeah, have yeah, impressed. Yeah, you have impressed Johnny Cochran. Right, and you impressed Johnny. You Cochran. have impressed us, and, I, and Mr. Shapiro will be impressed, and so will Mr. Ashley Bailey. 
That's right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Do you go to law school? My daddy's a lawyer. Yeah, but what about you? What do you, about you? you, what you, do yourself? you do? Why shouldn't you be in the law profession? Well, I don't have temperament. I'd get pissed on, off in court. You're I, not real uh, measured. No, I'd stand up and go, you know, shut up, you idiot. You know, I'd, I'd like lose my temper. So you sort of like Marsha Clark. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I am even, no, 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 no. I got a short fuse and 50%. You got a body. nice chest? I would hit somebody by now. You got a nice uh, breast? No, I have front tattooed across. Do you have nice breasts? No, did you hear she has front tattooed across her chest? Because I have, I, have oh. I see, I see, I see. I see. I see. Very funny joke. <laughs> well, honey, let me tell you something. <laughs> You've got that phone number. Guy, <laughs> make, repeat the phone number so I make sure you have it. Uh, 516. Yes. 922. Yes. 9463. Is that Very right, good. guys? That is correct. Okay. okay. That is it. Please call the number as soon as you can. Mr. Johnny Cochran, I want to thank you for hearing the show this morning. And, and I look forward to meeting this woman because we need her desperately. Right. Thank oh you, Mr. I, I just wanted you to go check the car and just do it on your own. I just wanted to, to let you know. Just check the Are car. You know, she has a very thorough understanding of mea culpa and modus operandi. But what, what does she need to testify herself, or can you... Uh, do I would like to put her on the stand, because she has a very interesting theory, and I think that would serve the defense well. Right. Okay. Would you be willing to go on the stand? Sure. Do you mind the notoriety? Seriously. No. I mean, it's going to change your life. It's going to be, you're gonna be like the next Kato Kalin. I mean, you're going to... I've only, I've only, I've had notoriety only on the state level, because... Uh, I say, of course you did, but now, uh, now all of a sudden you will... Oh, well, why not? You know, I got my 15 minutes of fame, okay? I'll take it. Good. Yeah, but there's more than 15 minutes involved yeah. here. Right. There's at least 20. There'll be about 15 days on the stand. Mr. Cochran, how long would she have to be on the stand, actually? I, I anticipate I long really testimony. I get, I, get, I get giggly and, and, and... Not on the stand, I hope. When I get nervous. Oy vey. There is no need to be nervous. I mean, we will have a very uh, thorough talk with you oh, before been, you go on the stand. In the whole damn world. I mean, that man, that man couldn't even get a change of venue. Mr. Cochran, let me ask you something. Uh, yes, sir. Would it affect her testimony if she laughs and giggles during it? Well, I think I think sometimes a little levity is good in the courtroom because of the solemn atmosphere that and 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 the. I just called out of the blue, and I I am totally shocked and 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 terribly nervous. I, I think the jury will get a sense that she is a real person. Hey, I'll tell you how serious. Hey, ma'am, I'll tell you how serious this is getting. I just got a call from uh, hard copy from Haywood. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Yeah, really. That guy. That reporter from hard copy. Yeah, Haywood, you blow me. Yeah. <laughs> so, are people hearing this? What? Are people hearing this? Of, of course. course they are. Yeah, we are on the air. Of course we're on the air. And that's why I'm trying to keep your... I'm just trying to find out from Mr. Cochran, if you do take the stand, how long you'll be on the stand. You must have a busy life. You can't be on the stand no, for the next... No, I'm unemployed right now. Oh, you won't? You're kidding. No. So you got a month that I could I could use you uh, as as our uh, prosecution... Uh, you got six months. We're rebuttal to the prosecution. You she wouldn't be a month. month. I just started on unemployment. All right. I didn't say hi to David and Ozzy. All right, very good. good All right, ma'am. What were you David. unemployed from? I just have to know. <laughs> what type of work were you doing? Uh, well, I was a secretary. I oh, you were. I see. Okay. Well, you don't have to. I see. I see. I want to be a truck driver. Right. Well, I think you're qualified. All right. Listen. Let's um. Let's do this, Mr. Cochran. I we think. Have some by the way, ma'am. I think your uh, life is about to change, and I think you're going to be a little more happening than just a truck driver. I think. I yeah, think you may have to put that on hold for a while. Yeah. I think. I think you better start reexamining your life. And and uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you've put together quite the theory there, and God bless you, and congratulations to oh, you. Oh, thank you. Really? And, you be... and I guess O.J. is going to be blessing you, too. Well, I, 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 wouldn't... I mean, I, you know, yeah, I like, I, like I wouldn't man. be surprised if O.J. didn't reward you for this. Really, <laughs> man. I like the man. I, you know, I kept telling my son. He, my son kept asking me. And I said, honey, you haven't heard all the evidence. The man is innocent until proven guilty. And exactly. so far, exactly. I can't anything. Exactly. I, said, I can't believe you, you have know, a son. If he wanted to change the venue. Just hasn't seen him in years. <laughs> I hope world. not. <laughs> There's nowhere that, in the world that has not heard about O.J. Simpson. Well, very good. And uh, uh, Mr. Cochran. Uh, yeah, that, that, this woman is the dream that the dream team has been waiting for. Right. We've been waiting on this dream. Well, that's very that's very nice of you to say. And I'll tell you something. She can Convince me. She convinced me. I was, I'm ready. I don't know why we never heard from her before. Well, she did try to contact you. She said that. I seriously, I'm very, very sorry. I apologize. I do apologize for that. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just had to lay it all out and everything. But it, you know, as time went by, the, you know, this funny feeling—I call it funny feeling—you know, it just kept getting stronger and stronger. And I just, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. So I couldn't you, hold back anymore. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, and I, I suppose Mr. Cochran's going to ask you this, uh, you know, off the air. You've never been hospitalized or anything like that, because that'll affect your testimony. You've never been institutionalized. No, right? no, no, no. So you're, you're and you don't have any record or anything. No. Good. So another, and you've never sold your, your information to hard copy or anything like that. No. Uh -uh. And no, your I credit record no, and everything is good. I only want to talk to good? authorities. I only want to talk to somebody that can do me some good. Right. So I, you know, no. 
And you've never had a record, you've never had a history of a drug abuse or anything like no. this. Okay. Pay all your bills on time? Well, not when you're unemployed. I try to. I she did tries. for 14 years, and, you know. Right. I, I'm, you know, yeah. But we're not going to find any bad checks, because they're going to look up everything. I know. Go ahead. I because I, I do not want to reveal your name on the air, by the way, because uh, that would uh, I'm Mr. Co no, please. They know my voice. Well, please do not reveal your name because Mr. Cochran, am I right? We should keep a let's give her a fake name for on the air. Let's yeah, you do have to keep a low profile right. until we actually get you into the courtroom situation. We'll just call you Wilma. That'll be your code name. Uh -oh. So if Wilma calls you, Mr. Wilma, you can make up a last name, Dickford. All right. <laughs> Wilma Dickford. Right. I, I can remember that one. All right. Do me a favor. Well, yeah. When you call Mr. Cochran's Make sure office... Make that when Wilma Dixit calls here, that, that you put the call right through. Yeah. Use that code name. Okay. Use a code name so the man can identify Wil you. Wilma Dixit. Well, you know, okay. Now, Wilma... But there are people that I know that listen to you, and they know my voice. Well, listen. That, that's no, no, one thing. I don't mind well, the people who know you. you told them this theory before. No. Yeah. No. no? I, the only people I've told was just, just wow. like my husband and... and uh, and some people that, you know, because we got to talking about O.J. And did your husband encourage you to call Mr. Cochran? He just kind of smiles and yes. says, okay, honey. Oh, he patronizes you. You did the right thing. All right. You did the right thing. And let and me tell you, you something. Sure, you're sure. You're sure. I would embarrass my family. I would, you know, back home. No, let me tell you what else is nice, Wilma. Let me tell you something else. The fact that I can tell you're a white woman. The fact that you stick up for the black man is very, very admirable. It's very noble. It changes the image of the South. Oh, it, has no, it has no difference. I mean, you got crappy people, Thank you. Uh, all kinds of color. Right. That's true. Now, you are you swear that you have never had any kind of psychiatric treatment? No, but I always go around saying I might be crazy. Uh, maybe, um, You've never been electro-shock uh, therapy? You've never been electro therapy? No. Mm -hmm. And no medication? No. Really? All right, that's admirable. All right, why don't you... Well, I was a virgin until I was 20. How's that? I can't believe that either. <laughs> well, that should come uh, up under cross-examination. Well, I'm sure once you meet uh, Mr. Mr. Johnny and uh, Mr. Shapiro. <laughs> they have nothing to do with OJ. I'm sure, you're, I'm, very, I'm sure you're very attractive. Have you ever been beaten by a spouse? That's a good question. That's no. very good, Johnny. Have you? Well, I mean, like, like, what do you mean? You, and know, you know, like slapped around. I mean, no, if you did something wrong and... and well, Mr. Say, Cochran, what do you say? You want you need to know if she's ever been slapped around? Well, sometimes, you know, those things well, happen. I've been married 18 years, and, and my daddy said she's got a short temper. My daddy warned my, my, hus my future husband, and we're still married after 18 years and everything. You can't have a perfect marriage. But did so he you're saying you? Well, you have fights. You did I, have fights. I, I, I Were the police not, called into these fights? Huh? Were the police called in? No, I am not, you know, I, I, um... I'm not. I'm not abused. You are not. I throw the first punch every time. All right, but you've been smacked around a couple of times. So you two have had fist fights, you would say? Not really. I mean, I've gone after him. Have you ever taken a punch? Huh? Have you ever taken a punch? He doesn't really. You know, it's not that. I, I can't explain it. Maybe maybe a little bruise, but that's you know that's not important. It's not the same. You, you know what what my husband and I do is having a fight because of the way I am. Of, you know that's because you were bad. Head. You know, if I, I can't. You be bring it on. You bring it on. Oh, yeah, I'm good at it. Yeah. You know, but that's why I can't be a lawyer, because, you know, don't agree. if you don't agree with me, I'm going to knock you upside the head. You know, and that's not the way you do. That's why I'm not in law. All right, listen, Walmart. Now, when we meet, will you, can you show me what happens in those situations? Would you be willing to show me? Show you? What do you mean? I mean, what happens in those situations with your spouse? I, I guess, you know, yes. I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, like... Over the years, it's, it's not often, you know. Right. What I mean? And once in a while, he has to smack you around because you get a little annoying. Uh, well, Would that be I fair to say? I can with something, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean, he sometimes, you know, people get on people's nerves. Uh huh. And I bet you get on his nerves a lot. Oh yeah. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And he has to calm you down. And the only way to calm you down is to maybe smack you in the he head. He has to sit on me. Right. And uh -huh. hold me down. I mean, if he's going to get his point across that way, that's that's uh, and whatnot. All right, so that's going to come out in court, isn't it, Mr. Cochran? I believe it, it. Well, it doesn't have to, not necessarily. I see. I would, I would say what O.J. did is wrong. The fights that my husband and I, I have, totally different. Right. Totally so, different. So, so there goes my point right there. That's my point, is that there is no relationship between any kind of... Uh, Do you ever smoke abuse? weed? Do you ever smoke weed? Or drink heavily? I don't drink. You do not drink heavily. at all? No, I've never acquired the taste. I'm a lousy Irish person. So what do you do, smoke weed? Can I take the fifth? Uh-oh. <laughs> now you're going to ruin yourself as a witness. You want to drink the fifth or... <laughs> now, if you take the fifth, you have to take the fifth on everything. I know, I know. My dad's only dead. All right, all right. I can obviously see that you know something about the law, and obviously you're being very careful. Uh, Mr. Cochran... Yes, sir. Let me just... Uh, let, let me uh, hang up on you let's two now. Let's not ruin anything before it starts. Right. Let's, let, this woman has a theory about OJ that's obviously very credible. I didn't, I, 
I, I just wanted him to go look. I didn't th think I would be involved that you would even need me. Well, we are very, very happy that we are going to meet you. Yes, and we're very happy that they that uh, you need her. And we're very happy you called here. Yeah, we're going to be in all the papers now. I hope so. Oh, absolutely. Maybe help get get you off of your file. Honey, this is the trial this century. You just cracked it. Oh, jeez. I mean, you just did it. Jeez. You just blew the whole damn thing apart. Yeah, but I might be totally wrong. It's just that, it's just that you know. Yeah, but you might be right. That's the point. Yeah, no, she I will know. be known as the golden girl of justice. It right. Was just, it was. It's just a little thing. I mean, all right. Listen, listen, business listen. Business listen. This is we're beating a dead horse. Let's do this. What? Let me get off the phone. Okay? Right. And call Mr. Cochran immediately. All right. Read me the number again. Five one six. Yes. Nine two two. Nine four six three. All right. How soon can you get to Los Angeles? Well, why don't you talk to her off yeah, the air, you know. Mr. Carter? I, I would, I would love to. All right, thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right, congratulations okay. on cracking the biggest case of the oh, century. Thank you for listening. And, and, you know, no problem. Is. I always listen to somebody who makes sense. That's the difference. Most of our callers don't make sense. You made sense today. I, you I, made I a call, difference. I call the, the the business number, and I'm going. I've got. Thank you. I have been calling for you for about a week. Because everybody thinks you're crazy or a crackpot when you got something good to say. That's what. Even they, your husband is humoring. F. Albert you know, Einstein. Yeah, he has said EMC please, squared. Please, I've got something. I've got to tell. It. And, 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 what, can I call you Howard? Or I don't like that Please, word. Please, or give me Snatch. I, you know, I don't like that. All right, just say Howard then. You know, it's, all right, this is so, different. See, that's sometimes why I turn you off. You get kind of vulgar for me. But, you know. And vulgar? Like, um, oh, yeah, when you read that letter from the... Thanks a lot. I listened to you and you call me vulgar. When you read the letter from, the, you know, the gay person that faxed you everything, I just couldn't handle that. You must be pretty smart. Whatever happened to that gay person? She brings up something. Uh, what gay person? A gay guy wrote you a love letter. Oh, okay. Gay I have... letter the gay guy, I, I'm going to read that again and we're going to call him after these words. Me, so we're on a roll. <laughs> hey, by the way, I'm curious. When somebody comes up, you know, it's a funny thing. Einstein, uh, F. Albert Einstein was a genius. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> and let me tell you, he was also dyslexic, you're right. And when he said E, e equals EMC squared, let me tell you something. He was a genius and people didn't recognize it. Have you ever been tested IQ-wise? I'm curious. No. Never? No. I, did you perform incredibly in school? No, I don't. But, I mean, like, you know, just because I didn't apply. I mean, I Right. Didn't. In other words, if you had applied yourself, you probably could. You were bored because you they were uh, wasting your time. Yeah, but did you find yourself bored in school? Oh, yeah, highly. In other words, like, you got it, and it was like, well, teach me something new. Math, I love math. I made A's, uh, A's in math. You did? Uh, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I love math. I can That's all Einstein was. A's in math and did badly in English, uh, ironically. I just can't spell. Yeah, that's the same with Einstein. You know, I can, I can, I can, that's often a sign of genius. I'm right. I can't spell. Fred can't I, spell, by the way. I have to look at my driver's license for my name. <laughs> wow. Well, and, and please, Imagine that. And use the name Wilma when you call uh, Mr. Cochran. Wilma. Wilma. I like Dickson. Wilma. That's good. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So I guess... Yeah, use the name William, Wilma when you call us, too. Hey, I'm curious. With someone as smart as you, I'm going to ask you a question. Answer the question, okay? okay. I'll, give you, I'll give you a little... Uh, this is sort of a... Uh, not a math problem, is but... Is this an IQ Logic test? problem. Yeah, right. i got to see how quick she gets this. I bet you in two seconds oh, she gets yeah, it. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I yeah. bet you're a lot smarter than you. Make me embarrassed. All right, I'll real quick, because I know Mr. Cochran has to go. If a plane crashes on the border of Arkansas and Kentucky, where do they bury the survivors? It, it crashes on the border of Arkansas and Kentucky. Kentucky and Arkansas don't border. Pretend, Pretend they do. Pretend a, they do. If a plane crashes on the border of Arkansas and Kentucky... Where they bury the survivors, they right. don't bury survivors. That's right. Very good. So you got that. They don't bury survivors. I think she is, she is absolutely ready to take the stand. You tried to trick her with a trick question, and I was going to object to that, but I let her... Hey, did you, ever, did you ever... Uh, did you ever... Arkansas and Kansas don't barter. Hey, did you ever... Um, you're absolutely right. You, you caught me. Did... When you grew up, did you ever uh, did you ever uh, eat possum? Uh, no, but my husband eats eats squirrel brains. And, and he does eat squirrel brains. Mm. He can call squirrels. He goes he calls the squirrels in Central Park, and they come to him. They don't know him. And then he eats them. Oh no, he can't. He doesn't hunt them in Central Park. He can just call them. Right. But see, you know, we're talking about Yankee squirrels, so they don't know That's what right. he can do to them. Uh, so they just come to him. Oh yeah, okay, fine. You know. Her DNA must look like barbed wire. <laughs> All right, very good. Not. Mr. Well, Cochran. I'm going to provide you with all the squirrels that you can handle. Oh, God, no, please, please. <laughs> Mr. Cochran, Mr. Cochran, obviously you're excited about meeting this woman. Yeah, let, me, let me hang up both of you so you can make your phone calls and get this case over with. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Congratulations, Mr. Cochran. Be you can call me Mr. Today. Johnny. And Wilma, as I call you, uh, oh, congratu congratulations on, on, on all of your uh, thought and success. Keep in touch. Please, and once you become famous, don't uh, abandon the show. Oh, no, yeah, well, I'll be calling on your 800 line because, you know. Thank you, know. you very much. Because I'll be, I'm, I'm planning on moving back to Arkansas. Very good, thank you. God, I hate to lose you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't want to go. 
You want to keep me here? I don't want to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> Let's hope you don't. Okay. Well, I think things are going to be changing for you rapidly. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Bye. Very nice woman. Very bright woman. Thank you, Mr. Cochran. Yowza. Yowza. All right, got to take a break. You know, I'm the wacker. There you have it. We broke the Johnny Cochran uh, problem, if you will. Uh, they didn't know how to wrap up the case. Now they have some. Fun with Southerners. All right, she'll be calling that number now and tracking the case. And we'll be back right after this.